Uh, to my brother Riley for getting his pilot's license. Where the Riley! Where the hell is that motherfucker? To my father's black card, to my black card. God, I haven't done Sambuca since I was 20 years old. Hello, my name is here. Today we're doing a review on the wonderful game of Far Cry 3. In my opinion, one of the best games that has come out this year. Maybe in the last couple years. It is so fun. I'm just having a blast with it so far. Let's talk about the story. You saw many of the main characters in the intro when it flashed their names up. Those are all relatives or friends of your guy, Jason. And you have to go out there and save all of them from the pirates. The leader of the pirates is the pirate named Voss. I actually love his character. It's really entertaining and he's completely insane. But that just makes everything so much funner. You have to go around saving them from the pirates. And I haven't gotten that far into the story. So I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. I'm sure you have to go around and kill anyone. Like all the other pirates and everything. But I don't want to spoil anything. So yep, you go around saving your friends. Bring them back to the safe hideout. But there's this big freaking humongous open world for you to discover. Like, I have 18 episodes of a walkthrough recorded, and I'm barely even through the story at all. I'm just so entertained with going out and doing hunting and gathering and just getting different kinds of guns and ex just exploring in general. Like, there's this crazy gun store you can go to, and there's these little, like, gun vendor deals like you'd find on a Fallout or something inside of every single outpost that you can capture. And you can just completely customize your guns and get a wide variety of guns and just put a bunch of attachments and camouflages and everything on them. It's just a really great experience. And these outposts are actually originally controlled by pirate forces. There's only usually like four to maybe eight at most as far as I've gone to. And like pirates inside of each of them, they can vary in difficulty depending on where in the map they are. But if you take them over, you can just kill, well, two take them over. You have to call the pirates inside and just completely wipe out the area of pirates. Now this is easy if you can just take out all of the original pirates in there without them calling in reinforcements. And that's where stealth comes in. Now you'll see me being very stealthy on screen trying to take out those pirates. But if they see you, they will run towards the alarm and slap that thing. And a couple truckfuls of rebel reinforcements, or not rebels, but uh, pirate reinforcements will come in and try to kill you. Which kind of makes your objective a little bit harder, especially when they have machine guns on their jeeps. And it just kind of ruins your day. So definitely stealth is the best approach in most situations. And now hunting and gathering, this is pretty cool. There's so many animals in the game, it's hard to count. And you can go out there and hunt them for and skin them actually, like in Red Dead Redemption if you guys have played that. Go shoot the animal, go up to its carcass, slap the action button, which for me is E because I play on a computer. And you skin them, you take their meat, you shove it in a bag, and you can create mainly like loot pouches and ammo pouches and stuff out of it. Which is pretty freaking awesome. It's a nice little way of giving you that way to progress through the game without like just reaching a certain point or reaching a certain level. You can just go out there and do it right away, which I did pretty early on so I can carry a ton of ammo now. And you can go out there and find these little like herbs and shrubs and stuff. They're basically just different colored leaves they give you. And you can craft syringes that enhance your like hunting ability and your combat ability and even gives you resistance to fire. Which I find pretty awesome. And there's plenty of vehicles to use to get around the map. I'll show most of them off later. There's a ton of land vehicles, a ton of sea vehicles. There's even a paraglider that's freaking awesome. And there's these little hidden relics that are just obviously hidden throughout the island. They, I don't think they actually do anything for you, but they're nice just a little collectible thing to have. Little, little thing to keep you exploring. And if you get bored of all that other stuff, there's also mini games to play. Like throwing knives, racing, and playing poker, but I do not know how to play poker, so I can't show you that one. Because I would just be sitting there getting my poop handed to me. So pretty much the story is a big freaking humongous island playground to explore with only 20 hours of single player campaign. That's just estimated. Like that might just be the main storyline. But you can just go through the campaign and just have a blast just destroying stuff on the island, just blowing stuff up, just driving off-road, flying off of cliffs. It is completely amazing. The landscape is so dramatic. It's just freaking, freaking awesome. There's also these really cool little mini-games called Trials of the Rocket that are found all around the island. Each rock, like you start them at rocks, it shows the name of the top-ranked person on the leaderboard. I'm pretty sure it's of like overall leaderboard not just your friends list because I had people from Ubisoft on there the first time I got to them but believe me by the time I left them my name was on there 
So the first few people who get Far Cry 3 will probably see my name blazing across those rocks. And there's these cool little mini-games that I'm pretty sure all of them have to do with, like, killing pirates. I mean, the first one I did was a stealthy way of killing pirates. The second one, I had to run over as many pirates as I could. And the third one, I had to shoot as many pirates coming at me in vehicles with my RPG as possible. So they're all, like, time trials about killing pirates. And I completely love that. They are so fun, as you can see on screen. And that's completely awesome. Here you see the plethora of animals in this game, all lined up like they're about to get on Noah's Ark. And you see their stuff ranging from pigs, to tigers, to panthers, to Galapagos tortoises, to snakes, to deer, to bears, to vultures, to birds of paradise, to water buffalo, one of my personal favorites, to crocodiles. It just, there's a humongous variety, as you can see them all right here. Now, most of them actually do attack you, if you get close to them, or if you make them mad or something. Uh, but there are some just out there to for you to hunt, like deer and pigs, they don't do anything to hurt you, but most of these things do, if you do provoke them. Or someone will just attack you outright, like tigers and panthers and stuff, and bears, they'll just come right for you if they see you. So, make sure you watch out for them. Yeah, there's a ton of different things, you can all kill and skin these things in the campaign. And yeah, it just adds a humongous variety of animals. There's a ton more that are sea creatures, but those aren't as important as the land animals, because you won't see them as much. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Just look at all of them. It's crazy. Here we have all the land vehicles in Far Cry 3. I'll show off the other kinds of vehicles later. But as you can see, they're mostly just Jeep variants. They're, most of them look the same, but they all handle differently. There's a reason they're each in separate categories. I didn't just plop down the same vehicle a couple of different times. They each handle differently. And there's quite a few different ones. I feel like there's a couple more in the campaign that you don't get in the map editor, which is why I can't show them. But they're all lined up quite nicely outside of my industry map. If you guys want to see that, it, it, my video of it is up. There's a big tour of it. And it's actually at night and it's raining, so the atmosphere is really great. But yeah, the handling of the vehicles is actually really awesome in this game. You can drift crazily around corners like you see me doing. And just about every single vehicle. Even jet skis. And yeah, it just actually feels like you're driving. Like actual vehicles. They really did a really nice job with the handling. It makes it fun to get around the island. Makes me not want to fast travel everywhere, even though that is an option. But I really do like these vehicles. That just about wraps up what I can cover for Far Cry 3 right now in this review. As obviously I don't have access to co-op or multiplayer yet, because nobody else has the game. But hopefully you guys will get it soon, and I'll see you guys on Far Cry 3. Now Ubisoft actually gave me this promotional code that is down in the description, the very top link you guys can click on. That will allow you to win prizes by Ubisoft. They're actually from Astro, Elgato, and Gunnar. I know Astro is like a headphone company, and Gunnar makes sunglasses. And if you are the grand prize winner, you can actually win an MSI GT70 gaming laptop. I'm not sure what kind of laptop that is, but it's for gaming, and it sounds very freaking official. So hopefully you guys go check that out. And you also have a chance to win free copies of Far Cry 3, as I'm told. I'm pretty sure, actually. Don't take my word on that completely, but I know for sure the, those other three brands will be represented. And I'll have a link at the end of the video to the Far Cry 3 launch trailer, as well as my walkthrough of the campaign and my map editor videos, including my custom maps and just plain me showing off the map editor, which is one of the main features of this game that I didn't get to cover in this review. And it's just completely mind-blowing. If you guys have not seen the Far Cry map editor, it is just completely amazing. And overall, I'll give Far Cry 3 a solid 10 out of 10. I have not found anything wrong with the game yet. It is just a superb game to play. I have not gotten bored in the slightest playing it. And it is just so much fun. So hopefully you guys get it. And hopefully I'll see you guys on Far Cry 3. See ya.